Were you surprised when you heard about the success of PS177's iPad Band? No, not at all. I think it makes perfect sense. Purdue University professor Oliver Wendt specializes in speech therapy for children with autism and other disabilities. He's conducting a study on how iPads and other tablet computers might help them communicate. For a lot of kids with intellectual disabilities, especially autism, hearing things is more difficult than seeing things? Yes. The visual format and structure of the iPad makes it much easier for the child to focus in on what you want to teach or what you want to communicate because that visual representation stays there for as long as their brains need to process and add meaning to that particular stimuli. I hit the ice. David Bowden didn't okay. speak from ages two to eight, but with the help of the iPad, he's talking now a lot. Oh boy. <laughs> Diane and Steve Bowden are his parents. When he was four, five, six years old, I never thought I would ever say, David, would you just be quiet? You know, but now, I mean, he sings, he's laughing, and there's times I'm like, shh. <laughs> never thought that I would have that day. Try again, and one. The PS177 band practiced all semester to get ready for their first chance to go on the road and showcase their newfound skills for the Department of Education in Washington, D.C. You talk about how proud they are of themselves. How proud are you of them? Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I have to take a break now because I'm going to get emotional. <laughs> I've seen how far they, they've come. Um, I, I see what's in their heart, you know. Musically speaking, I see what's there, and I, I can hear it. And we'll ring the bells when you come back. Gonna be the drums when you come back home. Gonna ring the bells when you come back. Everyone here got a star turn. Shining bright inside all. And Toby Lakes brought down the house with his part in Nessun Dorma. Now Toby's parents see a future they'd never even dared to dream. Now I feel Toby can independently live on his own. Did you think that before? No. I mean, we believe we had to be there for him forever. But now, we don't have that belief. We believe that Toby can actually go out and have a, a real life, a good life. We are incredible. <laughs> yes. <laughs>